Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about God's power to get wealth and health. There's a power. There's a force that causes these things to happen. And if you have this, you live in continued health and wealth. We're talking about health and wealth, supernaturally. But it's God's power that causes all this to happen. I'm going to show you how this works and how to have it. How to live there. You can live there. You're supposed to live there. Huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. You can have this stuff. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. For a bunch of reasons. A bunch of reasons. One of these days, I'll show you all the reasons. There's a lot of them. Huh? A lot of them. Call me today if you need prayer. Call me today if you did your offerings and donations over uh, yesterday and the day before. And uh, a lot of you did. You need to call for the blessing. Amen. We need to bless you to get the blessing upon your offering and donations. Your offerings and donations are supposed to be blessed. So many people, we, we tithe for years and stayed broke. There's a lot of broke tithers, folks. A lot of them. But not in this ministry. Amen. So call me and share this video with everybody you know. Uh, just And hit the like button on these. I want to show you something. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Now, I, I talk about this. This is an incredible verse. It says God is, is talking to Israel before they go to the promised land. Before they leave. Uh, and they're getting ready to cross the river. They came out of Egypt and there was no empty pockets when they came out of Egypt. And everybody was carrying gold and and silver, and jewels, and nice clothes, and they plundered Egypt when they left. And God says to them, he reminds them of what happened. He says, but thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee the power to get wealth. Folks, let me tell you something. Make no mistake about it. There is a power, a force that is solely directing wealth among God's people. And it's out there. And it's available. And God said, remember, it's me who causes that. God causes that. Believe me, I know where that power to get wealth comes from in my life. I know where it comes from. And it's got nothing to do with me. It's all God. You can move into this. You can have this. Now, get your uh, concordance and look up this stuff. Look up this stuff. When you see that word power, it will mean, in the Hebrew, it means a force. There is a force, an unseen force that causes wealth to come to people. That's why Leroy Thompson out there in Baton Rouge, he always talks about the fact, he always says, I'm a money magnet. He always says, I'm a money magnet. People make fun of him. Don't make fun of him. He's rich. He is a money magnet. And do you know why he's a money magnet? Because that power 
to get wealth is upon him. It's upon him. And it causes, it causes wealth to come to him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything you need will be added unto you, Jesus said. This is the power to get wealth. When God starts to, to rain things down upon you, he only, he only knows one way to do it. And that's in abundance. God is not a God of enough. enough. He's a God of more than enough. Uh, every time in the Bible, when God started to provide for people, he gave them more than they needed. Every single time. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. It's just always running over. And it says, bring the tithe into the storehouse and you will receive, uh, the, the windows of heaven will open and you will receive a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. David said, my cup runs over. Jesus said to Peter, let down your nets for a catch. He caught more, more fish than the boats would hold. God is a, a net-breaking, boat-sinking, blessing God. And that's the kind of God he is. He's not a God of enough. He's a God of too much. The too much God. And that comes from this power to get wealth. This force. And you have to understand why. Why is this available? It tells you right here in the same verse. I don't know why people aren't living in this verse. I am. I'm living in this verse. And believe me, it works. I tell people this. Don't despair. God's word works. If you haven't received it yet, stay with this. And don't stop tithing. People get discouraged and stop tithing. That's the worst thing you can do. When you tithe, God is obligated to bless you. He's obligated to bless you. When you tithe, you have a right to talk to God about your finances. Now, finances are important, folks. Make no mistake about it. Everybody says, oh, Pastor Jim, you know, we're poor, but we're proud. No, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. God will deliver you from both of those things. We're poor, but we're happy, Pastor Jim. No, you're not. Poor people are not happy. They're miserable. The Bible says they're miserable. It talks about misery. Poverty is misery. It's, it's misery in every country where, where it's going on. People can't get enough to eat. Sri Lanka right now. People can't get enough to eat. They overthrew the government. The reason they overthrew the government is because they were living in misery. No money, no food. People, you know, God doesn't want you to live in misery. He wants you to live in abundance. Thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth, that he may establish or continue his covenant. This is covenant wealth. God is talking about covenant wealth. Healing is covenant. Wealth is covenant. Jesus said, Ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, be loosed and healed on the Sabbath? He healed her because she's a covenant woman. Read that. Luke 13 Chapter 13, verse 16. This is all about the covenant. It's all about the agreement that God made with Abraham. And if you are born again, God considers you to be a son or daughter of Abraham. And if you are, then this power to get wealth belongs to you. The blessing of the Lord belongs to you. It belongs to you. Actually, the Bible says in Galatians 3, now we're talking New Testament. Don't give me this, this, this is just Old Testament stuff, Pastor Jim. Wrong. It's New Testament stuff too.
if you be Christ. You are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise, which is the blessing and the covenant. You're heirs. You're an heir. It belongs, just like Prince Charles is an heir to the throne and the wealth of England. You are an heir to the promise that God made to Abraham. Whew. Man, I'm telling you what, if you can stand up when you hear that, you ain't getting it. This is almighty God talking. He gives people, a certain group of people, the power to get wealth. And the group of people he gives that to are covenant people. It's available to every covenant pe person. All covenant people. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. I don't care who your mama is, who your daddy is. None of that matters. All that matters is if you are a covenant person that is that belongs to you. It belongs to you. The blessing of the Lord belongs to you. The covenant of wealth belongs to you. Reach out and grab a hold of it. Paul said to Timothy, lay hold of eternal salvation. You got to grab a hold of this stuff. Hang on. It belongs to you. Like a bulldog with a bone. It belongs to you. Don't be satisfied with anything less. You got to stop being satisfied until you're living in abundance. I always said, I will never be satisfied until I'm living in the abundance that Jesus came to provide for me. And I got it. I got it. I grew up poor, folks. I was poor all my life. My mother was poor. My dad was broke all the time. We were cursed. We were cursed. I was cursed. Everything I did failed. I, 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 would, I would go into a sure bet, a sure thing, and lose everything I had. I lost everything I had so many times, I lost track. I got it all back. Why? Because of this. Because of this covenant. This covenant of wealth and abundance. I got into it. I got into it. I don't seek wealth. Wealth seeks me. Wealth seeks Kenneth Copeland. He doesn't chase money. Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom. Now, a lot of people seek the kingdom and they don't have the wealth. That's because they don't believe it. They don't believe it. They don't receive it. But you can. It comes through the blessing of the Lord. I'm going to talk about this. I make no excuses for wealth. I am not the least bit embarrassed for how, what God is doing in my life. Not at all. Not at all. Don't try to shame me. I've been broke. And I've been rich. And I like rich a lot better. Amen. And I'm only rich because God made me that way. You don't, you don't like the fact that I'm rich? Talk to the Lord about it. It's his fault. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. We got people in our church worth a lot more money than me. And they started out with nothing too. And I say praise God for those people. Amen. They are living in the covenant of wealth. Where they're supposed to live. I mean, we got people in our church who have traveled the world. And God paid for every penny of it. That's how they're supposed to live. You can live that way too. Glory to God. You call me today if you need prayer. Make sure you call me when you do your offerings, your donations, and especially your tithe. Let me get the blessing of the Lord, the covenant of the Lord to come upon you. And I know how to do it.